Mr. Peng Eng Huat. Still on international students. The proportion of defaulters is currently about 4% for the last three years. The grant amount to this group of international students is about 5.5 million annually. For this small, small proportion of defaulters, MOE takes a serious view. It is not just a matter of money, but also honour and trust. We have managed to recover from a few, and we will continue to make suitable recovery efforts. For those who fail to pay their liquidated damages, we will also take actions to prevent them from working or residing in Singapore. Mr. Peng. Thank you, sir. Uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, in 2016, when I asked the question, um, the amount of grant given to this minority, minority group who did not fulfill the grant came up to about $30 million. So just now the minister says it's about $5.5 million a year now. Is that, is that correct? So it means there is some recovery effort. So uh, can the minister share? Uh, was there any actual recovery in the sense that we have managed to brought down $30 million, from $30 million to $5.5 million a year now for those uh, grants? The second thing is... Um, can the minister also share how uh, MOE has tightened the recovery process? Because uh, one of the, the answer given then was like, um, you know, if they were to apply for work here in Singapore, uh, they may face some uh, severe uh, consequences. But then again, uh, these people are smart enough to gain their system and they have escaped without any consequences. So they would be smart enough not to come back here to work. So uh, can, can the minister share on how MOE intend to, uh, to recover those uh, grant given? Um, when the member asked the question several years ago, I think we had a backlog. We have a backlog of international students whom we are still trying to contact. Some, they are working here, but they didn't declare to us. So they became a question mark. And others are indeed defaulters. So we put all of them together and it come up to $30 million still being accounted for. Yeah. Of course, a couple of years have passed. We managed to contact practically all of them, and therefore we can ascertain now it's a 4% default rate, represent about $5.5 million a year. But again, that is a nominal figure. It's a nominal figure. We have tightened the recovery over the last few years. It means there's no running away from calling them, giving them the right forms to fill at the right time, and then also having good border control. I think once we have their names, their, their identity number, they can't game the system to come back to Singapore. We, we will prevent them from working or residing in Singapore. If they want to work elsewhere, I think our enforcement can't extend beyond those countries. But fundamental point is still, so long as we believe that we need a proportion, a suitable proportion of international students in our system, and then we provide some tuition grants, some on scholarships to them, we, do, we will expect some of them to default and not fulfill their obligations. That is inevitable, but we will try to tighten the selection, make sure we pick the right people, and make sure that uh, they will continue to fulfill their obligations.